from the beautiful Leisure Lanes, Johnstown Road in Beckley, this is Leisure Lanes Open Mixed Singles Bowling Tournament. Well, hello everybody and welcome to our Leisure Lanes Open uh, Mixed Singles Bowling Tournament. Uh, uh, coming you for, to you from the Leisure Lanes Family Bowling Center here at 700 Johnstown Road in Beckley. I'm Bill Laird along with Charlie Tony and Summer Jasmine and uh, uh, Adam Tony. And joining us uh, here is uh, Mary Dixon, the owner of Leisure Lanes. And uh, uh, we're here to provide uh, commentary on local bowlers who have pre-qualified to participate in our local bowling tournament here at Leisure Lanes. And uh, uh, Charlie, Tony, uh, we've had a lot of participation, a lot of excitement. Uh, explain to our viewers, if you could, a little bit about uh, how people pre-qualified in order to participate in tonight's event. Well, Bill, this was a mixed singles event open to both men and women. It was handicapped, 80% 80, 80 of 220 for men, 90% of 220 for ladies. We've got five men on the show tonight. Scores were high. The participation was off the charts. Mary, her staff, and Miss Summer Jasmine did a fantastic job with this tournament. 215 entries in the first tournament here at Leisure Lanes. $2,150 worth of prize money that 45 participants share in. We didn't only pay five places. People that didn't make the show made money in this tournament. It was a $10 entry fee, paying $700 to win tonight. What, what a show we've got tonight with our competitors. Absolutely. And, Mary, we want to thank you for having us here this evening at Leisure Lanes. Uh, uh, what a, what a great, uh, great atmosphere and a great show tonight. And, uh, uh, Summers, uh, again, our, our local bowling pro, uh, glad you can enjoy, uh, join us this evening and thank provide you, commentary. And, of course, the, the pro himself over there, C. Adam Tony. Uh, I think our bowlers have uh, been warming up, and uh, we need to go ahead and get them introduced at this time. All right, we'll start off with our number five seed. It's Mr. Lee Brewer. Hi, Lee. Do you have a game plan for tonight? Pick up my seven pins. All right, that sounds like a great plan. Good luck to you. Number four seed is Gary Mills, Jr. He's another lefty. Uh, do you have a game plan? Seeming we have two other lefties with you tonight. Just, just Mike Spires. All right, sounds good. Good luck to you. Number three seed is Jason Connor. Jason, you're only righty on on the TV. Our first match here. Do you have a game plan? Do you think you have an advantage? Yes, I do. I'm going to try to use my side where there's no lane traffic, and I'm going to hopefully uh, make me a little groove out there that I won't be messed with, and hopefully I'll make these ebonite balls look as good as they. Uh, Look as good as they truly are. Thank All right. You. Good luck to you. And our number two seed is Dean Richardson. Congratulations. Dean, congratulations for making on the show. Do you have a game plan for tonight with other lefties with you there? Yeah, it's, it's pretty complicated. I'm going to try to keep it between the ditches. All right. That's it. All right. Well, good luck to you, Dean. And our number one seed is Mr. Bill Richardson. He only has to bowl one game tonight. Bill, do you ha do you think you have an advantage being the number one seed? No, I don't know. Maybe a little bit, just one game, but I'm going to throw a lot of strikes. That sounds like a great game plan. Well, good luck to you. Okay, that's uh, the introduction of our bowlers. And, uh, again, a lot of excitement uh, associated with this show. And, again, coming right up, Leisure Lanes Open Mixed Single Tournament right here at the Leisure Lanes uh, Family Bowling Center. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a quick break and be right back uh, for bowling. So stay tuned, stay with us. We'll be right back. There's only one right choice for quality tires and service. See Adam Tony Tire Pros, his family owned and operated since 1980. We've been West Virginia's premier tire retailer, offering fast and friendly service. We carry all major brand tires, including Michelin. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. 
We also offer the industry's strongest warranty package, featuring free roadside assistance, plus simple and fast financing with the Tire Pro's preferred credit card. Visit us in Oak Hill or Beckley today, online at seeadamtonytires.com. Welcome to Alloy FCU. Hi, how may I help you? Hi, I'm Deanna Valentine, and kids are our future. <laughs> At Alloy Federal Credit Union, we offer accounts for even our smallest members so they can help save for the future, like a trip to Disney World or college. And as a mom, this is my daughter, Kendi Marie. And I have accounts at Alloy Federal Credit Union. If you live, work, or worship in Beck County, then you are eligible to join Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union has two locations serving you. One at 515 Hinkle Road, right here in Fettville at Dove Village Shops. And we are also located at 3574 Midland Trail, Alloy, West Virginia. Alloy Federal Credit Union believes in our children's future. Love Alloy Federal Credit Union! Alloy Federal Credit Union, bridging the gap to all of Fayette County. Do you need mechanic work on your car? Hilltop Auto Repair, 6256 Legend Highway Hilltop is the place to go. We have experienced mechanics on duty. Owned and operated by Jeremy and Tammy Shuck, Hilltop Auto Repair offers state inspections, oil changes. We work on brakes, engines, and clutches. To schedule an appointment, call 304-469-3276. Hilltop Auto Repair, across from Three Gables. Hilltop Auto Repair, quality work at affordable prices. Hi, I'm Robert. And I'm Marcella. Welcome to Stained Glass and More in Dove's Outlet, 521 Henkel Road. Fayetteville, West Virginia. Hi, here at Stained Glass and More, we can build you a custom door, custom windows for your residence, for a church. We do lampshades, anything to do with leaded glass. Here at Stained Glass and More, we have home decor to fit all your decorating needs. We have homemade grapevine wreaths that we decorate ourselves and we have custom jewelry that we design. Stained Glass and More, located in Doves Outlet Village, Fayetteville, West Virginia, 521 Hinkle Road. Call us, 304-574-1999. Philip and Mary Peelish embrace the benefits of home-crafted soaps and share their expertise with you through their all-natural bath and body products. Their company was born in the hills of West Virginia, where life's pace is a little slower, and people take care of each other, and traditions are valued. Based on old-time traditions and recipes, but without lye and dyes, the peelish soaps, lotions, and lip balms appear to both men and women, and are gentle enough for children. All of their soaps are made using natural ingredients, no detergents, chemical fillers, or preservatives, and retain all of the natural glycerin. With scents like mountain moss, amber, and ginger, and cranberry fig, there's one sure to please every member of the family. Wild Mountain Soap Company. Handcrafted soaps, lotions, and bath products. Products for both men and women. Open seven days a week. Conveniently located off Route 19 at Dove's Village Shops. Wild Mountain Soap Company. From the beautiful Leisure Lanes, Johnstown Road in Beckley, this is Leisure Lanes Open Mixed Singles Bowling Tournament. Welcome back to the Leisure Lanes Open Mixed Singles Bowling Tournament here, coming to you from the Leisure Lanes Family Bowling Center on John Johnstown Road in Beckley. Again, want to remind our viewers, you can watch uh, uh, the open bowling on Suddenlink uh, statewide on ch uh, channel uh, two, 
Uh, that's uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at 9 p.m. And also here in the Raleigh County area, Monday through Saturday at 8 p.m. on Channel 130 WZTS Cozy Television. So again, uh, this is the, the program where local bowlers compete for cash prizes, pre-qualified to be here tonight. So uh, I, think, uh, I think our bowlers are warmed up and ready. So at this time, I think it's time to bowl. So let's get to it. Our first competitor tonight is uh, Lee Brewer. He's uh, on that left side somewhere. We got three left-handers in this first match tonight. And a uh, nice uh, Brooklyn shot there for a strike for Lee. Uh, getting things started off right for us tonight. Hoping to see lots of strikes tonight, Charlie. Is it unusual to see uh, three left-handed bowlers out of four people bowling? That's... Uh... Well, uh, not all the time. I mean, uh, Left-handers, um, it's a pretty natural sport for the left-handers. And uh, Gary Mills Jr., he wasn't going to be outdone. He uh, he started things off right like Lee with a with a strike on the Brooklyn side. Up now we've got Jason Connor, our lone righty, in this first match, and he joins the strike party as well. Jason's one of those uh, power players, but uh, he's a very accomplished bowler and. Uh, Bowled in a lot, a lot of events. And we got our other lefty up here, uh, Dean Richardson. Dean uh, off the, got a little uh, fast that time, it looked like, and uh, pulled that shot, leaving the uh, one, two, four, seven spare conversion. Really nice shot there, picking that spare conversion up. So uh, everybody cleaned through the first frame. Gary Mills, uh, Gary, uh, his wife Renee is here. He's got uh, his son uh, Chris is also here, and uh, he's also got a son Travis. Uh, his dad was a long time a professional bowler here out of Beckley, Gary Mills Sr. Gary's here tonight with us. And, uh, oh, that's a tough break Gary, for Gary. he just got a little soft with that shot, didn't he, Summer? Looked like he got a little soft and left a tough conversion of a 2-4-6-10 split. He's going to have to get, get the ball on the left side of that two pin and hopefully slide that two over into the 6-10. Gary's been bowling for 20 years. He's had a high game of 289 and a high series of 769. He bowls there on Thursday nights at Leisure Lanes. And probably early in the match, a smart thing to do, go for two, and uh, because it is a handicap match. And Lee Brewer, another Brooklyn shot there for a double, starting off, uh, starting off hot. He's got 34 pins handicap, so uh, That's that will come into the play tonight. Oof. Left us wash out one. One, three, six, seven. Oh, no. A light shaker, five pin. You won't see Jason do that very often. Not very often. Not very often. And uh, Dean Richardson uh, getting a th three of the uh, war shout. Jason Connor up on the right lane. And a spare conversion there for Jason. Jason comes to us from Christiansburg, Virginia. Bill. So, uh, so he and, drove uh, ways to get here tonight. Lee Brewer getting off to a hot start. He, uh, he flushed that shot solid in the pocket. And uh, so he's getting off to a really hot start here tonight. Lee's been bowling for 40 years. He's had uh, four 300 games. Wow. High series of 847. 
And a nice comeback there by Gary Mills Jr. with a uh, nice strike there to make up for his open. Jason Connor has 61 300, sanctioned 300 games, so he knows how to score. He's had a high series of 858. He's had 25 800 series. He, he once uh, shot 1648 in a six in a six game set. That's uh, that's some awful impressive bowling. Sure is. Man, Dean leaves a Greek church. It's definitely a tough split conversion. Dad, uh, Dean is the uh, son of Morgan and Rose Richardson. You remember those, those those guys from your TV lanes days, don't you? I certainly do. Yeah, Morgan Morgan and Rose were great great bowlers, great competitors, and they were down there at Stevens Lake. He um, he would, he took care of all the boats down at Stevens Lake there for many years. Yeah. And Dean uh, Dean bowled really well when he made the show. He actually bowled against my team on Thursday night, and he shot seven seventeen actual. And he also qualify. won the strike pot that and night. And he won the strike pot. He sure did, Summer. So it was a nice night for him. Wasn't it? Yes. It's a great shot for Gary great. Mills Jr. there. Great shot there. So Gary, after an open frame in the second, has come back really strong. Lee's uh, string of strikes ends at three, and he's going to have a single pin conversion of the two pin. Dean comes up a little light, leaving a 10 pin. Yeah, he made a lot better shot that time. I think uh, he let the nerves get, get to him there the first couple shots, but he's an accomplished bowler. He throws the ball really well. And that's nice to see Dean come back with a nice quality shot there. Lee Brewer with a spare, giving him 79 through the third and 113 with handicap through the third frame. And you just won't see that out of Dean very often. Dean uh, Dean doesn't miss very many spares. and uh, He's just getting off to a rough start, but there's still plenty of time to go. Look like Jason missed a little right there, Charlie. J Jason getting off the little slow start. He leaves the buck up there. Good break there for Lee. Missed a little left there and left a three pin. Nice spare conversion there by Jason Connor. He has given him 60 through the third frame. He does not have any handicap. Uh, Jason's Averaged over 230 for several years. And, uh, I believe his average last year was 234. Yeah, for our entire season. That's pretty strong bowling, Bill. Uh, that's amazing, actually. Uh, Gary Mills, Jr., back up on lane 24. Look like Gary missed right there. Kind of pulled it over his right toe and was fortunate enough to leave a four pin which is pretty easy conversion for him. Gives Gary 55 through the third frame actual. He's got 36 pins handicap, so uh, he's at 91 in the third frame with handicap. Looked like Jason was trying to actually score more. He made a ball change and he made a big move left from where he started. Yeah, he ch it looks like he made a ball change and jumped in, in inside there, and uh, the ball just hooked up a little too heavy on the Gary throwing a plastic ball there at the four pin, getting it to skid down the lane, and a nice spare conversion. Gives him uh, 75 in the fourth frame, 111 with handicap. Looks like Jason's going for it. Oh, what a nice try there by Jason Connor. And, you know, he's a competitor. He's a solid competitor, and uh, he's going to give every shot, every shot the best that he can do. Dean just uh, – it's uncharacteristic of Dean tonight because uh, 
I'm sure we've seen back on the show he's gonna he's just a little fast with his approach it seems like tonight not doesn't have that good smooth arm swing looks like a good shot from Gary that's 10 back for Gary there really nice shot there you know Gary's dad uh, like I say he bowled a lot of PBA tournaments back in the day Gary senior we uh I think our good buddy Steve Licklider nicknamed him the navigator because he always drove everywhere we went to bowling tournaments and uh, Gary made a lot of finals shot a 300 game in a regional I mean he was a really really tough competitive bowler back in the uh, 70s and 80s and 90s well, he got a great break there pulled it over his right toe and he stays clean really nice break there getting it up in the high pocket for the for a right hander tripping that four out there's the lot, Dean we know. There you go. A lot better shot there by Dean. And uh, still a lot of time left in this match. Uh, you know, uh, Dean got 62 in the fifth. He's got 16 pins handicap. So he is trailing by quite a margin, but he's still not eliminated. There's still too much time left. I think Jason's going to continue with, with that adjustment he made, and it pays off here in the sixth frame with a strike. No. Nice adjustment there by Jason. Light shaker strike. Look like Lee might have gotten a little soft there. Leaving a four pin. Leaving the four pin, coming up a little high, but he's clean right now and he's the man to beat right now. Uh, Lee Hills, he comes out of Cleveland to Beckley. He come, moved in here out of Cleveland, and uh, he shot some awful big impressive numbers throughout his career. And that's not a characteristic of Gary Mills. You don't see him do that very often. And uh, he just got a little fast, pulled the ball across his body there. break for Gary there. He actually covered the way you're supposed to cover it and that seven pin it is he got a little he had a little light of the head pin and didn't have anything there to kick the seven pin out. It's great great yeah. shot for Jason there. Jason threw a super shot there. Those two opens that kind of opened the door for him a little bit. Um, he's gonna make right a run at it. He's gonna make a run at it. He's a tough competitor. I know I've bowled against him, and I've bowled with him. To tell you the truth, I'd rather bowl with Jason than bowl against him. Oh, definitely, definitely. He's, he was my doubles partner in the state tournament one time, and then we bowled a PBA doubles tournament together. He bowled great, and I didn't do so well. So, uh, but, uh, a lot better shot from Gary. He gets the light shaker. I tell you, Gary, Gary Mills, every single time that he's made a bad shot, he's come back with a really good quality shot. Us bowlers have to have short-term memory. Got to forget the bad shots quick enough to make the good shots. Dean just, uh, Dean just having a rough night tonight, but uh, Dean's, a, Dean's a heck of a bowler, and it's just not his night tonight, but we all have those nights. Yes, we do. And usually we turn around and we just bounce back. A lot better shot from Lee there. Oh, what a, what a good shot. Wrap seven there. And uh, Lee recently won one of our ball raffles we held for the Woodrow Wilson bowling team. And he's throwing a Brunswick Magnitude 055. Uh, I believe Brittany Meadows a few weeks back won over at Pinheads with a Magnitude 055. Yeah, you, you've done a really good job promoting that Brunswick line with the, with the high school bowling team, helped them raise a lot of money. And I'm sure everybody here is really appreciate of that. And that's probably like a double for Lee. I know he doesn't like to shoot those seven pins too often. So Yeah, we don't yeah. like shooting those corner pins. Oh, so there we go for Dean. Great yeah, spare. Nice spare conversion there for Dean. No, he's not, not real happy here. But, um, you know, there'll be better days ahead for Dean. He, He's too good a quality of a bowler. And 
And uh, Jason jumped inside there with that different ball, and he's got a pretty good reaction in his hand right now. It's definitely so, a good decision so for Jason Lee there. Brewer, 146 in the seventh, actual 180 with handicap. And a really quality shot there. That, that really set things up nice for him there. Uh, with 34 pins handicap, he's in the driver's seat right now. Gary missed a little left. Maybe it was just kind of fell off his hand, missed it at the bottom. Leaves a makeable 1 3 spare conversion. You remember bowling against Gary's dad, Gary, a lot, don't you? He was a tough competitor. Uh, Gary Mills was a great bowler. He, uh, I think you and him won some state tournament doubles together, did you? We actually won uh, four in a row, and then we won five out of six state doubles uh, titles together. Uh, you, you, Charlie Tony and Gary Mills was the hottest doubles partners back, back in those days. And Gary was, Gary was, uh, he was a. He was Mr. Accuracy. He could really, he could hit, hit a mark with great accuracy back in the day. An open there by Gary, Gary Jr. gives him 151 in the ninth, 187 with handicap. Uh, Dean Richardson throwing a strike there, 110 through the eighth frame. Comes down to the tenth frame with Jason Connor there throwing that four bagger. He's still alive in this match. So uh, it comes down to what Lee Brewer. Lee Brewer can strike out and lock things up. He can spare and count good and lock things up. So he's got two options here. And he got it uh, to hold up in that. Oh, I thought for a minute that uh, he pulled a little too much, but it, he left the four pin. A uh, spare, a spare, and a eight count would lock this would lock this up for uh, for Lee right now. And Gary Gary Jr. finishing 159, 195 with handicap. Lee Brewer making the spare now. Count count is uh, all important here because you don't want to give Jason Connor. An Never opportunity. Give Jason a I'm gonna tell you that right now. Looks like Dean just never got comfortable out there, and but we know he'll be back and probably feisty and just ready to go after him next time. And that's going to be enough to send him on to the next round. 205 actual, 239 with handicap for Lee Brewer. The best Jason Connor can do is 237 if he strikes out. Dean Richardson having a really tough night tonight. 136 actual, 152 with handicap. So it looks like uh, it's going to be Lee Brewer against Bill Richardson, but Jason Connor can. Uh, can finish third here as long as he doesn't get himself in trouble. He Jason made, made a great adjustment there. I believe if he would have started it. there, he would have been, he, I think he would have definitely gave it a run. He would have definitely give it a run, yep. Yep. He just, uh, he didn't move enough in that fifth frame. Uh, you know, if, if it had, it may have been a different situation. Yep. Got up high on that nose. And that five pin was a bad break in the second frame, too. Oh, what a good quality shot. Leaves that 10 pin. Nice. But with a spare conversion, he'll finish with 226. So it's setting up a, a nice final there, Bill, with a lefty and a righty. And the guy we got coming up. He can bowl too. He's got a he's got a great fundamental game, Bill Richardson. Uh, great great fundamental game coming up. Absolutely. Well, I great tell bowl. you, a great uh, great matchup here in this uh, contest here to get things going, and it's going to be Lee Brewer advancing uh, to take on the top qualifier here, Bill Richardson, in our championship matchup coming right up here at Leisure Lanes Open. 
mixed singles tournament here sponsored by C. Adam Tony Tire Pros. So, again, uh, great matchup coming up. Don't touch that dial. You won't want to miss this, folks. So, we're going to take a quick break and be right back to bowling. So, stay tuned. Stay with us. We'll be right back. There's only one right choice for quality tires and service. See Adam Tony Tire Pros is family owned and operated since 1980. We've been West Virginia's premier tire retailer, offering fast and friendly service. We carry all major brand tires, including Michelin. Michelin offers safe, fuel efficient, long lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. We also offer the industry's strongest warranty package, featuring free roadside assistance, plus simple and fast financing with the Tire Pros preferred credit card. Visit us in Oak Hill or Beckley today, online at seeadamtonytires.com. Welcome to Alloy FCU. Hi, how may I help you? Hi, I'm Deanna Valentine, and kids are our future. <laughs> At Alloy Federal Credit Union, we offer accounts for even our smallest members so they can help save for the future, like a trip to Disney World or college. <laughs> and as a mom, this is my daughter, Kendi Marie. And I have accounts at Alloy Federal Credit Union. If you live, work, or worship in Beck County, then you are eligible to join Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union has two locations serving you. One at 515 Hinkle Road, right here in Fettville at Doug Village Shops. And we are also located at 3574 Midland Trail, Alloy, West Virginia. Alloy Federal Credit Union believes in our children's future. Love Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union, bridging the gap to all of Fayette County. Do you need mechanic work on your car? Hilltop Auto Repair, 6256 Legend Highway, Hilltop is the place to go. We have experienced mechanics on duty. Owned and operated by Jeremy and Tammy Shuck, Hilltop Auto Repair offers state inspections, oil changes. We work on brakes, engines, and clutches. To schedule an appointment, call 304-469-3276. Hilltop Auto Repair, across from Three Gables. Hilltop Auto Repair, quality work at affordable prices. Hi, I'm Robert. And I'm Marcella. Welcome to Stained Glass and More in Dove's Outlet, 521 Henkel Road. Fayetteville, West Virginia. Hi, here at Stained Glass and More, we can build you a custom door, custom windows for your residence, for a church. We do lampshades, anything to do with lead glass. Here at Stained Glass and More, we have home decor to fit all your decorating needs. We have homemade grapevine wreaths that we decorate ourselves and we have custom jewelry that we design. Stained Glass and More, located in Doves Outlet Village, Fayetteville, West Virginia, 521 Hinkle Road. Call us, 304-574-1999. Philip and Mary Peelish embrace the benefits of home-crafted soaps and share their expertise with you through their all-natural bath and body products. Their company was born in the hills of West Virginia, where life's pace is a little slower, and people take care of each other, and traditions are valued. Based on old-time traditions and recipes, but without lye and dyes, the peelish soaps, lotions, and lip balms appear to both men and women, and are gentle enough for children. All of their soaps are made using natural ingredients, no detergents, chemical fillers, or preservatives, and retain all of the natural glycerin. With scents like mountain moss, amber, and ginger, and cranberry fig, there's one sure to please every member of the family. Wild Mountain Soap Company. Handcrafted soaps, lotions, and bath products. Products for both men and women. Open seven days a week. Conveniently located off Route 19 at Dove's Village Shops. Wild Mountain Soap Company.
from the beautiful Leisure Lanes, Johnstown Road in Beckley, this is Leisure Lanes Open Mixed Singles Bowling Tournament. Welcome back to Leisure Lanes Family Bowling Center here in Beckley. And uh, my favorite part of the evening is uh, uh, the tip uh, from Adam Tony. Uh, bowling is an activity that you can always uh, take instruction and get a little better at what you do. And uh, uh, Adam, we have a gentleman sitting to your left there, a little bit of a story there. Uh, uh, won't, you, won't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Well, well Bill, uh, we'll came in here tonight. I've known Penny, Penny uh, Neri for, for 40 years, one of my good friends, and he, uh, he come up to me and he says, uh, says I really, really enjoyed that, uh, that bowling show and says I enjoyed them, them tips. He said, I've bowled for years, but he said, I never knew what them errors was for. <laughs> and he says, you start talking about them errors and said, I come over here and they showed me how to, how to use those errors. And so he started using the errors and he's, He's bowled every day for three weeks in here uh, practice and learning to, to lose the errors. So Penny, uh, 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 using them errors out there and uh, learning to hit them errors and where to stand, uh, did it help your game? Oh, very helpful, very helpful. And uh, you, you believe in that theory then. Uh, oh, yeah. If you, if you learn, to, uh, there's no substitute for accuracy. You, know, you learn to be accurate, but then again, you got to know the theory. you got to know where to move. So uh, well, we're just so happy to see you tonight. And, well, thank you, thank you for being here, and uh, and so uh, I'm sure Mary's happy that uh, that you're out here practice and they see you out here every day. So that that's great. Thank you very much. That's, that's and, a great story. And and build it tonight. We're we're, we're delighted to have uh, one of the uh, top area bowlers here in, in Beckley to uh, take our lesson tonight. It's going to be Mary Ford. A tremendous bowler, a 210 average. Wow. Not many men can touch the top that. So it, it's going to be a delight to, to work with Mary here tonight, and, and we'll look forward to, to working with Mary. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, take advantage of that and see what the tip of the week is. So let's uh, let's roll that tip. Thank you, Bill. And uh, this evening here at Leisure Lanes in, in uh, Beckley, we're fortunate to have Mary Ford with us one of the top bowlers, lady bowlers in West Virginia. Uh, it's a delight to have you here this evening. What a tremendous crowd y'all had, and everybody's been, been part of putting this fantastic tournament on. And uh, you, you being a, a great bowler, you'll make my job easy this evening. So uh, uh, as we, as we uh, all know, there's no substitute for, uh, for uh, missing them one pin spares. We even seen some of that here this evening. Yes, it do. happens. It happens to all of us. So, but again, practice makes not perfect, but practice makes us better. So, mm -hmm. we all got to have a have a spot to throw at. And this evening, um, you've agreed to show us that uh, three six nine theory. Once you find your ten pin, you move three boards back to your right. That lets the ball come left for the six pin. Then you'll move three more pins to the right, that'll put the ball on the three pin. Mm -hmm. So uh, how about, are you ready to give us a shot at that 10 pin? Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> very good. Now, how, how about the um, how about the six how about the six pin? Okay. Can, can you move three boards for us and shoot the six pin? Yes. All right. Very good. Let's let's, let's watch Mary here now. She she shoots for the six pin. Very good. Very good. All right, now I'm going to test you a little bit on that. Uh, how about the three pin? Okay. Can you move three more boards right? Mm -hmm. Shoot at the three pin for me. All right. Very good. The three pin sets so right to the right of the head pin. Totally perfect. 
I don't, I don't think Steve Licklager could do any better than that. <laughs> she picked that three pin right off, right off of that one pin. That was fantastic. Thank you. I, I believe you're ready to start giving lessons. You, you probably already do, I bet, don't you? Not yet, no. <laughs> uh, you're ready. <laughs> well, thank you. Listen, thank you so much for being with us this evening and uh, look forward to seeing you out here some more. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, Bill, back to you. Welcome back to our Leisure Lanes Open Mixed Singles Tournament here tonight, and we're set for the championship round again. Lee Brewer having won the uh, preliminary round and won the right to take on the top qualifier, Bill Richardson, here. So I think our bowlers are warmed up. So, gentlemen, it's time to start bowling. Thirty-four pins handicap. Bill has five pins handicap, so twenty-nine pins to start off with, right off the bat for Lee. It's a great start for Lee there with a great shot. Bill coming up, uh, his mother and dad, uh, William and Barbara, in the house tonight to, to watch him bowl. He's got a daughter, Juliana. He, he resides in Daniels. Uh, he's had been bowling for 28 years. He's had 27 300 games, 14 800 series, 845 being the high series. I was here the night he shot 845. That was a great, uh, great run at the house record here. Bill's got the uh, classic, but fundamentally just really good game. Uh, he gets to the line very, very solid. Uh, he, Bill's also a, a, a member of the Radical Bowling staff, which is a family of the Br Brunswick staff that uh, that you uh, belong to also, Summer. Yes, he's on our sister staff, Radical Bowling Technologies. He is throwing the green Beyond Ridiculous, which just came out about a month ago. And it gives him a very, uh, it lets him, it's a predictable motion. Reads the mid lane very well and has a very smooth back end. Bill, Bill shot 805 scratch to qualify here. He he has started out with the first 10, shoots 289. Left a nine pin, and they told me that the ball touched the pin, but never knocked it down. Then he shoots 226, and then he comes back to the 290 to finish things up. So uh, very strong bowling there. Wow. Now Lee, uh, Lee bowls in two leagues here at Leisure Lanes, Monday nights and Thursday nights. You know, he did something that few people can accomplish. In a, he got three rings in one night. He shot a 300, 299, and then finished with 248 for an 847. You don't hear somebody getting three rings in one night, do you? <laughs> nope, nope, I got two one night, but I never got three. <laughs> A nice spare conversion there by Lee. Looks like, he might, looks like the lanes are transitioning a little bit from the first match we had. Looks like Lee might have to make a move on that right lane. Yep, it's come up a little high. It's come Several high. Several shots now. Yes. Let's see if he can rebound here in the third frame and make a quality shot. Looked like it was on target, but I believe he missed it at the bottom, and that's why that ball just never, uh, never made that strong move off the break point. Yeah, never picked up. But you know, actually, Lee's father, Lewis, actually won that magnitude 055, and he gave it to Lee. And Lee's game has really changed since uh, since he was born with some older equipment. It's amazing what new what some of this newer equipment will do for your bowling game. That's, That's right. That Brunswick Magnitude 055 has done wonders for his his bowling game, especially once he put a little shine to it to get it down the lane a little bit and get it through the heads. And yeah, it's because Lee's got a little more rev rate than ball speed, and uh, that Magnitude 055 has got a very strong cover stock. And what happens is the ball reads too early and it burns up, but the little bit of shine helps it get through the front a little bit and save, save that energy for the back end. I 
I think Bill liked that shot off his hand. Yeah. Bill, Bill coming out, uh, not fooling around. The, the ball's been solid in the pocket, 10 pins in the pit. You know, Bill's got some pretty nice accomplishments in his, in his career. He bowled in the Team USA trials in 2000. He's been a PBA member since 2012. His highest finish is sixth in a regional. And he said his most memorable moment was beating Tommy Jones, a very accomplished, one of the best, better pros out on tour. He's a former in, player in, of the year, In too. match play during a PBA tournament. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that was his first match of, of PBA match play. He sent that tracer across the deck, but it flew off just a little too soon there, leaving the 10 pin. Looked like he threw it, had a little more ball speed than the other shots and made the ball go down a little farther and came in behind the head pin, which left him that little soft 10. Bill has 59 in the second frame. The five pins handicap gives him 64. Very uncharacteristic of Bill there to miss a single pin. Yeah, Bill don't usually come up out of a shot like that. He's pretty pretty daggone stable at the line, and you don't see that. Lee said his most memorable moment shooting a 300, his first 300 game back in 1997. Lee has 46 in the third, gives him 80 with handicap. And that lane is definitely definitely going through a transition. Went through a transition as he comes up high again, leaving a very tough spare conversion version the 287. He's going to have to get this ball to the left of the two pin in order to convert this spare. He's giving it a run. Oh. Well, that's the way I would have tried to convert it. He got it just a little bit too left, but uh, tough spare conversion, giving him 55 in the fourth, 89 with handicap. Bill Richardson has 92 with handicap, so a very tight match. Bill Richardson leading by three pins through four frames. Let's see if Lee can bounce back from a split he left on the third frame here on this left lane. Great shot from Lee. Got around it a little more. Didn't miss it at the bottom that time like he did the previous time on that lane. Yeah, real, really nice shot there by Lee. And it looks like he's got the, the left lane figured out. The right lane is the lane that's really giving him some problems right now. If I were Lee, I would definitely make about a two and, a two and one move to the right. That's two boards with my feet and one board with my eyes, or my target, and just see what would happen from there. When you're talking about a two-in-one move, you're really, you're really just um, not really changing the angle, are you? You're just moving not deeper into the hole. Not changing the angle, just trying to find more oil. Oil makes, makes the ball go down the lane farther, and we just try to find that friction line so the ball will slow down and give us the better chance of striking. Bill there threw a great shot, came in a little high, left a four pin. Maybe he's starting to see a little transition himself on that right lane. Um, it looked like a pretty good shot. I would also make a move to the left for Bill. Nice spare conversion there by Bill. You know, I tell a little story. Bill and I bowled a PBA doubles <clears throat> over 50 under 50 doubles tournament up in uh, Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio there a couple years ago. and. Bill started with 143, and I started with 173. And uh, when it was all over with, Bill was right at 200 over, and I was like 190 over, and we qualified uh, fifth in the tournament. We, we lost our first match the next day, but uh, made a pretty formidable doubles team in that tournament. Good showing to start off as bad as we did. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's right. It's 
a great shot for Bill there. He got it to the friction, and the ball just took 10 back. Yeah, he threw, um, it looked like he, he got that ball down into the surface a little sooner, and then with not as much speed, give the, give the ball time to roll, and, and that's, that's what you got to do there. Let's see if Lee's going to make an adjustment here on this right lane. That looks like a pretty good shot. Ugh. Really good shot there. That was a good a good move there. And uh, we got a little bit of a lane problem here. We'll have to set a pin up. He threw it good enough to strike, but the uh, uh, but had a malfunction there. And, uh, but uh, leaving the 7 p.m. Charlie, are most uh, bowling alleys now electronically equipped? I guess the digital age is uh, upon us. Uh, do they still use a pencil and a piece of paper uh, anywhere? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen that. Uh, I haven't. Well, I'll tell you, I was, in, yeah, I was in Elmira, New York last year, and they still kept them by pencil and paper. That's the only center that I've seen that I've been around for several years now. Have you seen any around that? What's that? Where they kept score by hand anymore? Uh, no, no, I haven't I haven't seen that for uh, not the last uh, 20 years. <laughs> nice spare conversion there by Lee Brewer. Uh, back in, uh, you know, I have to tell a story about that. Back in the, uh, what was it, in the early 70s here at the old Bowick Lanes when it's called Bowick, he averaged 217 here and the next highest average in the house was 192. And there was a lot of good bowlers here that come out of Beckley. So uh, that, that's quite a bit of, of a difference in, in average compared to the rest of the house. And, and that's when bowling when it was, it was in its heyday with, with places packed with bowlers, you know, with league bowlers. There were, we bowled uh, 90, 99 games for the league. And the gentleman uh, kept the average uh, he, he, at the end, he put my scores in the, in the Beckley post I It was 99 games. I had 91, 200 or better. Nine, eight games less than 200 out of 99. <laughs> That's unbelievable. But it was a good shot, a good clean house. E easy, easy to make spares. And Great break for Bill there, almost leaving a 7-10. Giving him a double now, so Bill extends his lead to 13 pins right now. Still a very close match. Now Getting ready to head into those championship frames. Now, Charlie, we both bowled with Bill in our travel league we used to have here in uh, southern West Virginia. And I believe we won five or six years there. Uh, uh, we, won, we, we won six out of seven and finished second in the second. Uh, yeah. And that's traveling league from all over the state. So we had a pretty good team back when they had the traveling league. Uh, Summer, myself, Steve Licklard, or Bill Richardson, and Wes Johnson, along with Mike Chapman uh, bowling some with us, and uh, Jason, Pittman Jason Pittman bowled some with us. And so my good friend Mary Ford filled in a couple times for us. Mary Ford. Uh-oh. Yeah. Bill got a little fast there and came off his hand too quick and missed right. Fortunate to leave a makeable spare with the one two. Gives Bill 135 scratch through six frames, 140 with handicap. Lee is setting with a 95 scratch, 129 with handicap, so 11 pin difference right now between our two bowlers. Great spare for Bill, maintain his lead. Lee Brewer down by 11 with a strike working, so he can cut that deficit right now to one pin with a strike right here. Definitely made an adjustment. Hopefully he can make another little minor adjustment and kick that seven pin out. That was 10 back, that was a great shot. Really nice adjustment there for Lee Brewer. So we got a one pin match heading into the championship frames, the ninth and 10th frame. We've got a one pin match and 
and he's up on his good lane right now. Travel left, leaving a tough conversion here, a washout. Looked one, like he, three, six, seven. Looked like he got a little fast with that summer and come up out of the shot and uh, leaving the wash out. And uh, it's that time right now, you gotta go for it. You gotta give it a go. You can't worry about pin counts. You gotta give it a go right now. He's gonna hook at it. Didn't get it quite far enough over there. Slide that head pin into the seven. Gives Lee 149 in the ninth, 183 with handicap. So Bill Richardson will finish the match first. Bill right now with about a 17 pin advantage right now. Great shot for Bill there. Not kicked the nine pin out late and then. So Bill has set himself up now with a, a mark and good count. He can wrap this match up. He's at 175 in the eighth. The best Lee Brewer can do is 179, 213 with handicap. Bill working at a 215 pace. He could possibly shoot 235 actual though. That's what he left Monday night when he had the front 10. He left that shot right there and shot 289. You know, one thing we haven't mentioned tonight, Mary went all out for us here at Leisure Lanes. She put in gold pins tonight, Bill. You know, I was uh, I was noticing that and a uh, good sharp appearance there. And uh, it's always good to see the gold. These are pins that they, they put out for the PBA tour one or two seasons then they summer. I'd say about 20, 20 years ago, sound yeah. right. Good spare conversion there. All right, but the spare there gives him 195. Bill, Bill needs four pins here to lock this match up. Bowlers bowling. This was a pretty expensive match right here. 700 first, 350 second. So it was a $350 match right here. Wouldn't they get finished there and be a win? Turn around some of them fans back there and get them all to stand up in front and get them all to clap. That's going to be enough, a good quality shot there. 215 actual, 220 with handicap for Bill Richardson. He's our inaugural champion of the Leisure Lanes TV Open tonight. Lee Brewer finishing up on lane 24. And get that seven to go a little late there. He would like to have that seven to go up there in the, in the sixth frame. Was the difference for sure, but again, what a what a great competitive match. Uh, two great competitors uh, uh, went right on down into those championship frames. That's for sure. And Lee uh, Lee bowled awfully well tonight for his first televised cast. Uh, that bad break in the ninth frame, you know, or we, we would have really went down to the wire here in the 10th frame there. Uh, but it's going to finish. 
Bill Richardson, 220. Lee Brewer, 203 in our championship match here. Wow, what a, what a great matchup. And again, uh, it's going to be Bill Richardson uh, taking the championship match here against uh, Lee Brewer, a very worthy competitor. And uh, what, a, what a great uh, mixed singles tournament we've had here at Leisure Lanes uh, Family Bowling Center here in Beckley. So. We're uh, going to have the awarding of the, the prizes here. And uh, again, stay tuned here for Leisure Lane Open Bowling, sponsored by C. Adam Tony Tire Pros. We're going to take a break and be right back. So stay with us, everybody. There's only one right choice for quality tires and service. See Adam Tony Tire Pros is family owned and operated since 1980. We've been West Virginia's premier tire retailer, offering fast and friendly service. We carry all major brand tires, including Michelin. Michelin offers safe, fuel efficient, long lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. We also offer the industry's strongest warranty package, featuring free roadside assistance, plus simple and fast financing with the Tire Pro's preferred credit card. Visit us in Oak Hill or Beckley today, online at seeadamtonytires.com. Welcome to Alloy FCU. Hi, how may I help you? Hi, I'm Deanna Valentine, and kids are our future. <laughs> At Alloy Federal Credit Union, we offer accounts for even our smallest members so they can help save for the future, like a trip to Disney World or college. <laughs> and as a mom, this is my daughter, Kendi Marie. And I have accounts at Alloy Federal Credit Union. If you live, work, or worship in Fett County, then you are eligible to join Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union has two locations serving you. One at 515 Hinkle Road, right here in Fettville at Doug Village Shops. And we are also located at 3574 Midland Trail, Alloy, West Virginia. Alloy Federal Credit Union believes in our children's future. Love Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union, bridging the gap to all of Fayette County. Do you need mechanic work on your car? Hilltop Auto Repair, 6256 Legend Highway Hilltop is the place to go. We have experienced mechanics on duty. Owned and operated by Jeremy and Tammy Shuck, Hilltop Auto Repair offers state inspections, oil changes. We work on brakes, engines, and clutches. To schedule an appointment, call 304-469-3276. Hilltop Auto Repair, across from Three Gables. Hilltop Auto Repair, quality work at affordable prices. Hi, I'm Robert. And I'm Marcella. Welcome to Stained Glass and More in Dove's Outlet, 521 Henkel Road. Fayetteville, West Virginia. Hi, here at Stained Glass and More, we can build you a custom door, custom windows for your residence, for church, we do lampshades, anything to do with lead glass. Here at Stained Glass and More, we have home decor to fit all your decorating needs. We have homemade grapevine wreaths that we decorate ourselves and we have custom jewelry that we design. Stained glass and more, located in Doves Outlet Village, Fayetteville, West Virginia, 521 Hinkle Road. Call us, 304-574-1999. Philip and Mary Peelish embrace the benefits of home-crafted soaps and share their expertise with you through their all-natural bath and body products. Their company was born in the hills of West Virginia, where life's pace is a little slower and people take care of each other and traditions are valued. Based on old time traditions and recipes, but without lye and dyes, the peelish soaps, lotions, and lip balms appear to both men and women and are gentle enough for children. All of their soaps are made using natural ingredients, no detergents, chemical fillers, or preservatives, and retain all of the natural glycerin. With scents like mountain moss, amber, and ginger, and cranberry fig, 
There's one sure to please every member of the family. Wild Mountain Soap Company. Handcrafted soaps, lotions, and bath products. Products for both men and women. Open seven days a week. Conveniently located off Route 19 at Dove's Village Shops. Wild Mountain Soap Company. From the beautiful Leisure Lanes, Johnstown Road in Beckley, this is Leisure Lanes Open Mixed Singles Bowling Tournament. Welcome back to Leisure Lanes Open uh, Mixed Singles Tournament here, and we're at that portion in the show where we're awarding prizes and uh, uh, Charlie Tony, not just prizes here tonight, I understand the qualifying tournament uh, uh, to get here tonight, uh, 45 people were uh, paid as participants in this tournament. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, Bill, not only our top five made money, but we had two, over 200 entries, 215 entries. Mary or staff Summer, uh, I mean, Summer really did a tremendous, awesome job running this tournament and getting bowlers to bowl in it. Great prize money for all our competitors. So if you didn't make the show, you got some money to re-enter next time. Uh, so uh, we got we got some payouts to go after the after the top five here. So absolutely, we want to uh, again thank uh, Summer Jasmine for her uh, expert commentary here tonight, and Mary Dixon is joining us, the owner of uh, uh, Leisure Lanes Family Bowling Center. And again, thank you for hosting you. our bowling show here tonight. I've enjoyed this. This is our first event, so like I said, I hope there'll be more to come after this. So like I said, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed. It. Okay, so Summer, I guess uh, we have some uh, contestants uh, standing by here, so let's our do the place, awarding of the prize. Our fifth place finisher is Mr. Dean Richards. Thank you. Congratulations, Dean. You did a great job. Thank you. Our fourth place finisher is Gary Mills, Jr. Congratulations. Congratulations, David. And our third place finisher is Mr. Jason Connor. Great finish, Jason. <laughs> Our second place finisher who put up a good match there to the end, Mr. Lee Brewer. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Lee, great bowling tonight. Um, you did very well. They put on a great uh, show there. Ninth frame kind of bit you a little bit, but uh, you and Bill had a great match going there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And our Leisure Lanes Open Singles Champion is Mr. Bill Richardson. Bill, got a couple, if we can get a few words from you. We got a great crowd on, crowd on hand for us. Bill? Uh, well, your game plan worked out, I think. Well, obviously. Uh, would you like to say a few words for us? Uh, I, was, I was a little mad I missed the 10th end. I, you know, I'm always proud of myself being a good spare shooter, so that made me a little mad. But I still give lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it from you. I promise. Uh, <laughs> You know, I know most of those guys back here bowl with them 30 years, so it's pretty good. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Radical. You know, I've been with them for five years uh, since they uh, came into the Brunswick family. It's, they've given me real good stuff, so I'd like to thank them. That's get a lot of good equipment. So other than that, just happy. All right, well, congratulations on your win. Okay. I said, I hope you had a good time. Like I said, there you put on it. an awesome show for us. Like I said, excellent bowler and love to have you. I said, hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you have it. Our champion uh, tonight, uh, Bill Richardson. And uh, again, congratulations to Bill Richardson and all of our contestants uh, who participated in uh, this tournament. And again, we want to thank our good friends at Leisure Lane Family Bowling Center right here on 700 Johnstown Road in Beckley. Uh, uh, thanks for the reception, and uh, uh, really enjoyed being here tonight. Uh, on behalf of Summer Jasmine, our uh, professional bowler, uh, good friend C. Adam Tony, Charlie Tony, I'm Bill Laird, thanking you all for tuning us in each week as we bring you area bowlers competing for cash prizes right here on Community Television, WZTS Cozy Television. Again, thanks for tuning us in. Have a good week, and good night, everybody.